I've sworn to kill every ogre in existence. I have to kill them. Hello and welcome to another Hot Rodster review. Today I will be reviewing the new anime series known as Peach Boy Riverside. This anime was a bit all over the place. Going in, I was really excited to watch it because I had recently heard about the old Japanese mythology about the Peach Boy. <laughs> but after finishing this show, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed. The first thing I want to talk about is the order of these episodes. This bothered me the most because all of the episodes were not in chronological order. I'd actually heard about this before I had started, but I thought it was going to be something like My Hero Academia Season 5 when they put the Endeavor Agency arc before the Meta Liberation Army arc. At least in that show, it was easy to understand what was happening. For Peach Boy Riverside, it's almost like they finished all the episodes beforehand and then put them through a randomizer to mix up the order. The entire anime just felt very unstructured and it ruined the flow of the show. It wasn't like super difficult to understand what was going on, but it was definitely harder than it should have been. I heard that the manga isn't even like this, so the anime kind of just butchered this story. The mixing up of the order is my most notable dislike of this series. I get that Asahi production was just trying to do something a little unique, but this was just not it. This show would have definitely been better had they just stuck with the original order. But Order of Sorry, the story was actually somewhat decent. It was far from perfect, but it was kind of like the average shonen. I love fantasy and I love the idea of different species like ogres and humans and demi-humans. And I like that the focus is on discrimination because it ties fantasy back to the real world by giving them real world problems. It just makes it easier to connect with a lot of the characters. However, as much as I like this theme, I don't necessarily like the main character's Sally's goal. I should probably explain what I mean by that. I do think it is cool that she wants to eliminate all prejudice from the world, but what I don't like is that it doesn't seem like she has any solutions. The entire anime has just been about adventuring from town to town, not even really changing people's minds about other species. To me, it just felt like a fake goal, and it made Sally feel a little aimless as a character. However, the other characters were pretty interesting. My favorite right now are Frau and Mikoto. Frau was just very compelling. I don't know much about them yet, but they are very interesting. The one thing that completely caught me off guard is when they just revived back from the dead and came back with a crap ton of power. Frau was honestly very terrifying, but they also piqued my interest. I'm actually more interested about their origins than pretty much anything else that's happening in the show right now, to be honest. And Makoto has just been a man of mystery since the very beginning. But when we got the episode that explained his backstory, I just loved his character even more. While I don't agree with his goal of genociding an entire race, I can definitely understand his motive. And he also has the peach eyes, which are kind of a mystery in and of itself. So I'm just very interested in this character in general. Carrot was kind of cool, but her character development was kind of ruined by the mixing of the episodes. Like in one episode, she started coming around to the fact that humans actually have feelings and emotions. But in a later episode, she sees humans as nothing more than an infestation that just needs to be destroyed. And Hawthorne was kind of bland for most of the series. I didn't even start to appreciate him until the last couple of episodes, which really should have been like the middle of the show. The art and animation were very standard. It was nothing out of the ordinary, but I wouldn't say it was bad but it wasn't anything to freak out over or anything. Overall, this definitely would have been better if the show was put in order. It's unfortunate that it wasn't, but I was able to still somewhat enjoy it. I'd give it a five out of 10 because there were still some enjoyable elements, but it should have gotten a six or a seven out of 10. I don't know if this will get a second season, but I actually hope it does so I can finally get some answers about Frau. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to leave a like and to slash that subscribe button to see more anime reviews on this channel. And let me know what you thought about this anime if you've watched it in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next life. Peace out.